not going to get the Switch. Uh, we do have our Switch Midnight Unboxing video ready in the YouTube channel, but for some reason it says it's 45 minutes long, which it's not, so we have to go back and look at that editing again. Yeah, um, we don't know what happened We there. don't know if we left it in the recording or what, but, or Nelson attached it to another video, but that will be up soon. Um, we're back doing our um, before after movie reviews. Uh, Logan premieres today. Uh, all the review, all the major reviewers are out. It's got a positive rating on Rotten Tomatoes, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. So this is the before part. Um, Nelson, what are you looking forward to in Logan? Lots and lots of R-rated Wolverine killing. He says, as we have a child visible <laughs> in the back seat. Well, um, he's not my child. He's yours. He'll you judge your second. parenting. I can. <laughs> I'm looking forward to. Um, just a good story. It's supposed to be like a road trip, western kind of thing. So I'm kind of yeah. looking for the genre blending there, just throwing Wolverine in there. And I really hope it's not Hugh Jackman's last outing as Wolverine, because uh, I particularly enjoy him as the character. I don't want to see it replaced. Yeah, it's hard. He's been he's been Wolverine so long. It's hard for me to see anybody else play him. I can't see anybody. I, I hope. Like, and at least at least if if it's another person that they cast, I hope they do the same thing and they cast an unknown. Well, I hope I hope uh, they let the character breathe for a little bit before they recast. That like, too. They can't give, reboot it immediately. Give me uh, like ten years, maybe, of no Wolverine. Mm. I can take uh, after almost twenty years of Wolverine, like every other year or every year, depending on what the movie is. Yeah. Um, over 17 films, I think, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I can take a few years without Wolverine just so we let the character rest and we get the right actor in there. Yeah, because so Sean, I don't know what are you looking forward to in this movie? Ta! Beat some people up! Beat some and people up. And murder the bad guys. And you were talking about me now? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. I know it's an R rating, but I'm his father. But I think it's just for violence. And I'm one of those parents, I don't think violence is that harmful to a child if you explain to the child about the violence, which I feel I've done. I've done very well. After all, he does watch WWE with us on a constant basis. And he's yet to get a note home from school for beating up kids. In fact, he's very well behaved, so. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a note about an F5 yet. <laughs> no, he did AA again before he had F5 and F5. True. And you have an alert say so WTOP. Yes. It's probably that traffic jam we just saw coming up. Possibly, or Trump. That's been lately. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to end the before part right now. We're almost to the theater. And then uh, we'll be back in about two and a half hours to let you know what we thought of the movie. Yeah. Bye -bye. All right. So we're out of Logan. Uh, overall, good movie. Uh, yeah, I liked it. Long. It was a little uh, long. 10.30 showing. It's now 1.17. Granted, Ooh. we did have the previews in there, but... Yeah. Wow, that was a long movie. It It was. But I enjoyed it. Uh, there's about, I think they could have easily cut 30 minutes out of there. We're not going to, I'm not going to say what points they should have cut because there's a couple things that they could have edited differently and done differently to cut down on that movie. Yeah. Because it's one, sometimes when you have a long movie, sometimes it needs to be long. That didn't need to be that long. <laughs> yeah, it could have stood to be a little bit shorter. Um, but I also kind of wish they had uh, like one more scene maybe. But so I guess maybe trim some scenes also scene. there is no after credit scene collider is wrong yeah. they reported because we checked and they said there was an after credit scene so we stayed though we did get to listen to one of my all-time favorite songs the man comes around by johnny cash yes. but i have that on my ipod i can just play that whenever exactly um oh, holy crap. so um lots of cursing <laughs> there's a lot of cursing like it's kind of funny how they went with the r rating uh because I, I feel that movie still could have been done uh, with a PG-13 rating. Just you take out the cursing. Yeah, it probably it, could have gotten... It could have gotten away with um, a PG-13. So yeah. It's very violent, but I don't think it's any more violent uh, than a lot of PG-13 movies. Well, I don't know. You don't have dismemberment. Nah, that's true. There's a couple That's a that. thing. It's a couple. But like I said, <laughs> like those things, like it could have been... They could have done it in a PG-13 way. Yeah, they probably could have done it that way. Like, it, it, feel, it feels like one of those things, they, the R ratings, the shock value. Yeah, probably. So, like, oh, look at this. Deadpool did well with an R rating. We're going to do R rating, which doesn't detract from the movie, but I think Fox might have cut into their profits by making it R because they could have made that movie a PG-13 movie and would, it would have been just fine. Yeah, more than so. likely. 
But, but no, we like the movie. I would say it's a solid 7 out of 10. Um, if it didn't drag at some parts, I probably would have liked it a lot more. It would have gotten a higher score for me. Yeah. But because of those parts that drag in the middle, mm. it's just kind of like... I did like look at my watch once or twice in that film. So yeah. I was kind of like, man, I kind of want to go now. <laughs> it needs to hurry up and finish. So um, overall, like I said, seven out of solid seven out of ten movie. Um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, you said you were hoping there's a director's cut coming out. On yeah, I, I hope there would be Which a director's my, cut. My response to that was, you want it longer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like because I mean, a director's cut could mean a couple different things. You could tr you could change. Scenes and how they uh, how they flow and you know their their arrangement because uh, true if you look at like the Expendables director's cut that's actually almost completely different well yeah. not completely well different, I'm not I'm not quite sure how you'd rearrange some of those scenes because the the movie is very well um, I, I'm not saying they're going to rearrange any scenes but you there, you could definitely trim this uh, like a, a bunch of different scenes differently yeah. and then that would make room for another scene so. maybe but um. Definitely worth going to see. Um, I don't know if you have to see it in theaters. Uh, there was nothing particularly about the film, kind of like uh, with Doctor Strange, where you needed to see that in IMAX 3D to yeah. get the full effect. Um, it's a good movie. Um, if you've got a family that or a bunch of people who want to see it, might want to wait to rent it on Redbox or what one of the many streaming services that it'll probably be on. Yeah. I don't necessarily say it's worth... Uh, definitely go to a matinee. If you're gonna go, uh, we saw the matinee, so it was like six bucks. Yeah. Um, it's long, so I'm glad we didn't go see the seven o'clock showing oh. uh, last night or the ten o'clock showing. Yeah. That would have made up for a horrible evening. Yeah. Not a horrible evening in a bad movie. Just I was already tired yesterday as it was. I'd have been tired throughout that movie. So um, yeah, go check it out. Definitely worth one watch. Um, you know, this might be the first uh, Wolverine movie I don't buy on Blu-ray. I'll probably buy it. Mm -hmm. well, one of us will have it then. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. So, Nelson, what's your overall rating for it? I, I, I would agree with about a seven. Seven is pretty, uh, yeah. so that pretty is solid. The unit. Eight. You give it an eight? Uh, so, the unit. So I guess it that averages out to like a 7.2 yeah. total. So, that's still fresh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it sounds like we're dog in the movie, and I don't mean to. Um, but check out later today, probably, maybe tomorrow, we'll have a spoiler talk up. Because, like I said, the, some of the things that I would have changed to the movie, I don't want to say here because uh, they would be very, spo yeah, they'd yeah. be very spoilerish. It's not like, oh, you could just cut this scene from the trailers out. No, it's nothing like that. It's it's a pretty big scene that they could have shot differently and saved some time on. Yeah. So uh, that's all for now. Um, we're gonna go play the switch now. All right. Yeah. Bye.